Hey what's up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have water flows vertically downward out of a nozzle of radius r not so this one is r not with a speed u not which is not quite large for some distance below the nozzle okay so the speed is not quite large that means of course uh, the uh, laminar flow is uh, maintained it is written also that uh, the flow in water is laminar over the distance and the stream radius r y as a function of the distance along the nozzle is varies like this r y equals to r 0 into 1 plus eta y whole to the power minus 1 by alpha so with the uh, increase in y the stream radius is varying like this we need to find out the value of eta plus alpha where eta and alpha are of course constants right uh, given u naught square by g is 1. Very easy question. We need to just apply the concept of equation of continuity and little bit of uh, energy conservation. So, R y varies like this. Okay. When the water comes down by a distance y, if we apply equation of continuity at point 1 and point 2, it would be a1 u1 plus a2 u2. So, u1 is nothing but u0, area is the cross sectional area, r0 square, circular area, and here it will be ry square, ui, okay, and we will just put the value of ry from the given equation in the formula in the question. So, we got this one, we have ui, so we got the expression of ui, something like this, r0 square, r0 square gets cancelled out. Now, as the water is falling due to gravity, we can write that ui square equals to u naught square plus 2gy, right? Uh, because it is falling due to constant gravitational force. Okay. So, ui square equals to u naught square plus 2gy. So, ui would be taking u naught square common from here. We just uh, modify the equation like this, whole to the power half. Now, of course, if you compare these two expressions of ui, you can just adjust the power 2 by alpha equals to 1 by 2. So, 2 by alpha equals to 1 by 2. So, alpha equals to 4 and just compare these two coefficients of y at eta would be equal to 2 g by u naught square and uh, g by u naught square is 1. It is already given in the first page. Okay. So, eta equals to 2, eta plus alpha is equal to 6. So, the correct answer would be 6. Okay. So, I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. If you want to see this kind of videos where I will be solving numerous All India Test Series questions and previous years questions for JE Mains and Advanced and also NEET, uh, just click the subscribe button, stay tuned with this channel and uh, this channel will be helpful for your preparation and share this video with everyone, every single friend of yours, right? And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Take care.